Hi JJ, thanks for coming to Capwell today to speak to us to preview tomorrow's match against Dunfermline Athletic. Before then, we've just confirmed the appointment of Peter Houston as your number two. Can you just talk to us about uh, the appointment of Peter as assistant manager here at Morton? I'm delighted to have uh, have uh, Peter on board. Fantastic signing for the club, a fantastic signing for me. And I'm obviously delighted to, to get someone... Uh, of his experience and, and uh, you know someone with his background to to to, to be my assistant uh, is delighted. Was that experience important to you? Yes, I think I think one of the main criteria uh, when I do recruitment and, and profiling was was uh, that I would like to have an assistant that, that has been a manager and has been assistant and uh, uh, so they can mentor me, they can they can be support for me in that role, but also obviously. To have uh, all the coaching experience and, and the experience of the league uh, and everything else uh, that is important, important, uh, you know, as an assistant manager. And I think his CV speaks for himself. And uh, as I said, uh, we have a mutual friend, uh, a friend that I, that I speak to a lot and has been helping me a lot in my coaching. And uh, he put us two together. And uh, you know, after speaking to him, it was uh, it was clear that that uh, he's the perfect perfect match for me. You've actually uh, come in uh, on top of my next question there. Was, I was going to ask it. I don't think he's someone you'd worked with before, but obviously that's not essential for you. No, it's not. Uh, I think uh, with, with, as I said, you know, any recruitment is, is about getting the right man, the, 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 the man that compliments me uh, in many ways. Uh, so uh, when I heard, heard of, you know, Peter would be interested, I was, I was delighted and I was... You know, trying really hard to, to, to get it, and, and he was very positive to, to come into this role. So, so, you know, a big thank to the to the to the chairman again for supporting me in this decision and, and uh, for giving him the me the help that that was needed to, to get him in. Will Peter be alongside you in the dugout tomorrow? Yes, he will be. Uh, he's just in the job, so so Derek Anderson and, and John Sutton will, will also be there to assisting me tomorrow, uh, and it's a team as I speak. You know, it's, it's, it's a team. Everybody is working together, uh, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm very happy to have my team uh, in place for for this game. Turning attention to the game, what are your thoughts, uh, Don Fermlin here at Capital? Difficult game. Uh, a very strong squad coming up. A traditional team. Uh, a team that has big ambitions for this season. Uh, so it's something we need to need to be. We know how hard it's going to be, and uh, we need to be prepared properly to. To, to, to combat them and I think the determination and the teamwork and the, the attitude and the work rate we put in last week is, is uh, you know, that's uh, non-negotiable for tomorrow. Dunfermline are managed by Alan Johnston who is an old teammate of yours, Rangers I think it was. Do you think, does that give you any extra insight into how his team might play at all? No, no, I, th I think, uh, you know, he came in uh, to the latter stage of my, my career at Rangers, uh, it was a good teammate. Uh, someone I've, I've obviously met over the years here in Scotland coaching. So, so, uh, but uh, you know he's got a big squad. He's got a, a lot of players. He's uh, changed formation during the season as well. So it's hard to predict how how they're going to come here. Uh, but uh, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I'm sure he, he's going to have his team organised and and very hard to beat uh, like they they were last week against Alloa. And uh, it's going to be a tough game. And saying that, you said something I found very interesting in the last match preview was that you'd be more focused towards looking at your own team's strengths mm. rather than reacting to the opposition's strengths. Mm. Is that is that correct? I think when you're building a building a team, building a a way of play, a philosophy, it's it's, it's important uh, not to lose your identity. But of course, you know, uh, as I said, you always have to take opponents into consideration, and and uh, we always do that. You have to look at their strengths as well. Uh, but as I said, it's important to 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 first focus on your own team, and and uh, and uh, you know, so you don't you don't lose that uh, that focus. In terms of your approach, JJ, it's a home game. The last mm. your first game is an away game. Will you differ much between home and away games in terms of how you approach a match? I think you have to be. You have to be. We have to make capital of our fortress, as they say. You ha we have to be hard to beat at home. We have to pick up. Uh, points and wins uh, in this very even uh, tough league at home you know so I'm wary of that we need to be the one thing I, I, I said to the players after the United game that we can be more dangerous we can create more chances 
it's something we worked on this week and uh, and uh, you know uh, especially at home with the help from the crowd and, and everybody else when we get in the lead uh, you know we have to keep keep hold of it uh, uh, you know just a little bit better than we did last week team are actually unbeaten at home so far this season listening to you there you must consider a strong home record important I think teams don't like to come here because we are well organized always traditionally it's been a tough place to come and that is something that's important and that's something uh, I'm aware of and, and something I, I want to keep going uh, so definitely you know tough to beat work rate everything else that what fans want to see I want to see as well and, and this is important that we we get a, a really really good home record this season it's your first home game as manager how do you feel ahead of the game in that respect I feel very excited very confident very excited uh, I feel uh, you know, uh, it's, it's going to be a great occasion. Uh, I think there will be a good turnout uh, against a very good side. So I think the football is going to be good. And, uh, you know, it's a big, big moment for me. And uh, uh, one I'm looking forward to. Any nerves at all? You've been involved in many high profile situations in your football career. In terms of management, any nerves about this? No, not now. Uh, as I said, focus is on the pitch. Uh, I'm sure there will be excitement I think nerves are, are, are good you know I think they keep you on your toes I think keep the uh, concentrated so a little bit of nurse is good uh, but the uh, focus is there and focus is on, 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 on other stuff you obviously live relatively local would the family be there to see your first game in charge my wife is supporting me away on a, on a, on a bit on you know a trip uh, uh, working trip but my son will be here so that's his first Morton game actually so he's very much looking forward to it Excellent. Uh, just one final thing, JJ. Any team news ahead of the game? Robert Thompson, Connor Bell missed out last week. Gary Oliver yes. missed out well, after a late fitness yes. test. Is that will those three be absent this week? No, Gary Oliver will be included in the squad. Uh, he's just back from 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 uh, from injury, but he will include in the squad. Uh, the, the, we have a couple of doubts for for various reasons, uh, so uh, there will be a fitness test tomorrow, and uh, you know uh, another personal thing that uh, we're going to go through. So we have a couple of. Uh, couple of maybes, but I'm hope both of them will be including the squad as well. Keeping that under your hat then? Yes, so far. Yeah, so. Excellent, Gigi. Thank you very much for your time and good Thank luck you. in your first home game in charge of the club. Cheers. Thank you.